Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while. Um, the whole tech team got contact trace, so we wasn't prepared. We didn't have any in advance to put online. So again, I apologize for missing these last couple of weeks. But I will have to tell you, I have missed the, the, the chance of sharing a little bit of Jesus with you each of those weeks. Before my time away, I began sharing with you a study on the errors of the Bible. And we talked about the first era of creation through Noah. And then we, we discussed the second, is Abraham to Moses. And if you're just joining us now or you don't remember those two eras, I encourage you to go back on, on, on Facebook, on YouTube, they're all still there, and watch those episodes. Well, today we're, we're going to take a look at the third era. That being the era from Moses to Judges. And we're looking somewhere between 1500 and 1000 BC. Remember, those are just estimates, but that's pretty close to this time frame. The period before this named the 12 tribes of Israel and positioned them to call on God for help while in Egypt. Now in this period, the, we'll call it the establishment of Egypt. It covers their escape from Egypt, their return to Abraham's Canaan, and their taking of the land by a combination of miracles and military might. Speaking of miracles, this was one of three periods of miracles in the Bible. Uh, this one lasted approximately 75 years, which spanned between somewhere between 1450 and 1375 B.C. The Exodus uh, lasted about 40 years uh, and during that time. And the people lived as nomads in the desert between Egypt in the south and Canaan in the north. Following the Exodus, Joshua led the army in conquering Israel's land for, for around 50 years. Then we come to the book of Judges, and, and it's a continuance of wars, but with judges in place. This is one of the spots in the Bible where God was telling the people to either annihilate or drive out those whom they conquered. The, the problem was that God knew four things. One, he knew the opponents worshipped other gods. Two, he knew that the opponents would not change their minds about these practices. Three, he knew that they would eventually infest Israel with this idol idolatry. And four, he knew that they would cut themselves off from his guidance and grace. Now the Israelites refused in, in many cases and they ended up living side by side with the losers and adopting their practices. During this time, there were 15 judges over 300 years. And the most noteworthy ones were Deborah, Gideon, Jephthah, and Samson. Some others got involved in the, the practice of idolatry as you read through their stories. Some of the interesting stories to look into throughout this era would be the birth of Moses, the, the burning bush, ten plagues of Egypt, the parting of the Red Sea, the, the Ten Commandments were given, uh, the walls of Jericho that fell down, and even Samson and Delilah. I encourage you to read some of these stories this week. Now, most of them you've, you've probably heard before, maybe in Sunday school or even in sermons you've heard uh, in, the, in the worship hour. But while you're reading them, see if you can find out something new in each one that you read. I bet you'll be surprised what God will reveal to you if you just ask him to. So till next time, remember, God made you, God loves you, and God wants to be your friend. Happy reading.